How you doing guys? Welcome to another video. This is topic two, atomic structure, the first video in that series, and this one's titled, What is the Nuclear Atom? Let's go. All right, topic 2.1, what is the nuclear atom? We look at the components of an atom and we discuss isotopes. The IB understandings and applications and skills focus around atoms and what they contain. Also, we need to talk about the existence of electrons, and then we need to use what we call the nuclear symbol notation to write atoms. So the whole idea of the atomic structure basically come about from a lot of development in a period of time. Ernest Rutherford did this experiment where he shot alpha particles at gold foil. A lot of them passed directly through, but some of them were scattered. So he come up with the solar system model where he had a dense nucleus in the middle, which contain only protons at that stage. He didn't know any different. And then electrons which orbited the regions of space around the nucleus. Rutherford had, Rutherford's model had a number of limitations though. What we need to know for this particular understanding is the different subatomic particles. So after Chadwick come along, he discovered the neutrons. So we knew that in the nucleus we have protons and neutrons. The protons have a relative charge of one and a relative mass of one. The neutrons, well they are uncharged, but they have the same mass as a proton. So we have protons and neutrons, both in the nucleus, and sometimes they're referred to as the nucleons. Symbol for a proton is P, symbol for a neutron is N. The electrons orbit the shells in these fixed regions which have a very defined amount of energy. But in terms of the charge, an electron is minus one. It's essentially the negative of a proton, and its mass is very, very small, and we approximate that to zero. Now, what is the nucleide symbol convention? Well, it's a way that we write atoms and ions where we can identify key aspects of the atom or the ion. So we have A, Z, X. A is the mass number, the mass number of the atom. Now, the mass number is defined as the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. The number of protons we can get from the periodic table, and if we know what isotope it is, we can work out the number of neutrons. Z is the atomic number, the atomic number of the element, which is found on the periodic table and is different for every element. So the definition of atomic number is the number of protons in the atom, and every element will have a different number of protons. The symbol, well, that's the two letter abbreviation for the element. Some of them only have one though. So for example, if we have 23592U, what element is that? Well, that's a uranium isotope. The number of protons is the Z, so in that case it's 92. Now to work out the number of neutrons, well, we've got the mass number and the number of protons, so what we need to do here is a takeaway. We do the mass number, take away the number of protons to give us 143. Now this uranium isotope, it's neutral, so it doesn't have a charge. But if we had a charge, it would be in the top right hand corner. Elements are neutral, which means they have the same number of protons as the number of electrons. Only ions have a different number of electrons when we compare them to protons. So here we have some ions that we need to write the formula for. So ions are atoms that have either gained or lost electrons. Ele uh, atoms that have gained electrons are called anions. El atoms that have lost electrons are called cations. And they can be represented in the same way with our mass number, our atomic number, and then also our charge, which is now in the top right hand corner. The charge tells you how many electrons it's either gained or lost. So this would be known as a bromide ion. It's bromine, but it's gained an electron, so we call it bromide. We talk about this a bit, a bit more in topic four. So the name of the ion would be bromide, ide meaning it's an ion. Now the number of electrons, a neutral bromine element would contain 35 electrons, but because this is negative one charged, it means it must have gained an electron, which means it will have 36 electrons. The number of neutrons, well that would be the atomic number 
would be the mass number take away the atomic number, which would be 46. So here's another one where we're told we need to write the symbol for an iron iron that has a charge of 3 plus and contains 56 nucleons. So we have Fe and its charge is 3 plus, so we write that in the top right hand corner. An iron atom always has 26 protons, so the atomic number is 26, so we stick that down the bottom left. And because it has 56 nucleons, that means it has 26 protons and the rest are neutrons, so we stick that in the top left. So now let's get on to discussing isotopes. Isotopes are the exact same element, so same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. So the definition of an isotope is one you need to remember. An atom with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. So for example, technetium, which is element number 43, has some interesting chemistry. It is used a lot in medicine because it is a radioactive tracer. Because we can look, we can inject that into a person's body and then scan for it, and it's used in a lot of medical imaging. Now, technetium has three isotopes, 97, 98, and 99. Now, if you look on the periodic table, technetium has some brackets around the 98 isotope. That's because it's radioactive and it's also unstable, so it will decay into a stable element. So it's three different isotopes can be written according to the symbol convention. They're all technetium, so they all have the same number of protons, the same atomic number, 43. The only thing they differ by is the number of neutrons. So we have 97, 98, and 99, and they all differ by one neutron. Well, the 99 differs from two by two neutrons from the first one, but you get the idea. They have the same number of protons, different number of neutrons. But what are the characteristics of the isotopes? Well, isotopes have the same number of protons and the same number of electrons, but a varied number of neutrons. Because their electrons are the same, chemically, they react in the exact same way. Chemically, they are the same. However, physically, they are quite different. Physical properties include things like boiling point, melting point, and electrical conductivity, and speed that they would move at any given temperature. So you can kind of think of them as like twins. We have twins that look the same, they are the same, then that means that they're chemically the same, so chemically they are exactly the same. I actually lived with the Nelson twins there, they look very much the same, so chemically they are the same. However, physically, they are slightly different. If you know them really well, you can see that there are small differences between them. Here's an example of the twins with Danny DeVito and Arnie. Now, they look very different. I don't think they're actually twins, but physically, they are different. So chemically, think of their DNA. It's essentially the same. Chemically, the same. Physically, they're different. Topic 2.1, some top tips. Make sure you know the basic definitions of isotopes. And isotopes are chemically the same, but their physical properties are different. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.